was talking to some people and realised there seems to be a lot of confusion and I thought this was the perfect time to do this because the mod that we were talking about is actually out. Now, the big problem here is a lot of the base damage mods... i um, trying to remember the name of some of them, but honestly, some of them have got some really stupid names. Like, um... Heavy, the normal Heavy Trauma mod is a rare mod. It's a, the base damage mod. Obviously, if you've read the title, you know that's not what these are about. But it's a 90% damage mod. And then you look at things like the shotgun, where it's base damage mod. I'm actually looking for Shredder here. It's 30. 30% 30 slash damage. And you throw it on there, and you will have a total of 14,807.9 slash damage. And this is where I, I did not realise that that was a thing. I thought that Shredder was a 90 or 60% um, damage mod. No, turns out all physical damage mods on shotguns are 30%. At the elemental ones, I have absolutely no idea. Nope, they're still 90. So things like Sweeping Serration, which is available from Barrow until Sunday, is actually fairly useful to get a hold of because, well, yeah, 30% versus 120. Just remember, Sweeping Serration is fine for the Tigress, Tigress Prime. I would have to take a guess and say the normal Tigress as well, yeah, slash based. And, uh, is it the Sancti Tigress? Yeah, that's also a slash, so it's useful for those. Things like the Sobek, not so much because that is an impact based shotgun. If I remember correctly, hang on, I just passed it, didn't I? No, I was looking for the normal strone, but I just remembered that the normal strone would be down here. Is also kind of an impact based one, even its Wraith variant is an impact based one. And the bore is kind of the same. It's an impact based shotgun, as is the bore prime. And of course, let's not forget the Vacor Heck is a puncture based one. Which means that. Oh, what is it? Breach Loader? Ah, oh, I was actually right. Breach Loader, being the 120% puncture mod, is best for the Vacor Heck. And. Whew, trying to remember the name of the. Uh, there you go. Full com. Contact is better for the other shotguns. So these 120% damage mods are useful, depending on which one it is and what weapons you use. The war, when it comes to melee weapons, is a whole different story. The 120% impact damage mod, this one, Collision Force, is useless. If, and this is a big if, you didn't manage to get your hands on Primed Heavy Trauma. Because Primed Heavy Trauma, at a 10, which is one point less than the other one, is 135% impact damage. Whereas Collision Force is 11 points and it's only 120%. So there are better mods out there in certain circumstances. But these mods are not always used anyway. As you can see, my war is basically set up for... I have absolutely no idea. I think I've gone crit. Kind of semi-crit come throwing an elemental thing on the back, but I haven't touched this since Primed Fury came out because, well... How do I say this? The war's not really that good of a weapon anyway. Before you jump to the comments, let me uh, kind of verify this one just a little bit. The main reason is I'm running the Naramon Focus Tree, so crit-based weapons are better. Because once I use my Focus, I use crit and I can go invisible using Shadow Step. Which is... I don't even think Shadow Step's correct. Anyway, which is why I prefer crit-based melee weapons, which is why the war is pretty useless for the way that I play. It's not a useless weapon, it's just useless for me. And on this, I don't use Collision Force because I have Primed Heavy Trauma in here, which does a lot more damage. If I put that in there, it's actually a downgrade. But that is the only time the plus 120% mods aren't useful. The same thing for shotguns as it is for primary weapons, the 
normal damage mods are 30 percent now whereas they used to be 60s so instead of your using sawtooth clip it would be something like fanged fusilord fusilord however you want to pronounce that which is a vast difference it's nearly 20 more damage on something like the bratton prime but that just depends on how you want to set your bratton prime up mine is kind of in limbo at the minute because the build's not as effective as it once was. It's kind of the same for secondaries, but the big difference here is their base damage mods are 60%, which means that their 120% counterparts are kind of less useful as they are on rifles and shotguns. And this comes down to the fact that, well, 60%, there's only 60% difference but the damage is still huge, it's still 60%. It's, again, cannot stress this one enough, you have to match the damage types. So the Fact Barrow currently has Slash, depending on when you watch this, that is. It varies which one he brings, he can have the Puncture, the Slash, or the Impact ones. He comes with them all eventually. But they are definitely useful over the normal ones. You've just got to make sure if it's a Puncture damage weapon, you get the puncture damage mod. Same with slash, same with impact.